All right, welcome to Booze and the Bees. We're your hosts. Hi, welcome. And we're testing, is Ella smart? Is Ella smart? Let's find out. Is Ella smart? Question mark? Um, I tried to find, I found a few questions ahead of time that I did not know the answer to. Mm-hmm. So I guess we'll just, I'll just ask, do you want to ask me them, even though I wrote them down? Or Yeah. <laughs> Who painted the famous artwork, The Mona Lisa? I'm going to guess Da Vinci. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then, ding. Nice. So, so you're pretty smart. <laughs> I like threw that one in because I'm like, mm, I'm going to guess. You might know it. Not to be confused with ex- Leonardo DiCaprio, the famous painter. <laughs> Leonardo or, da Vinci, the actor. Or Leonardo the Ninja Turtle. Yeah. What's um, more impressive is it was done by a turtle. I wasn't confident in my answer, so that's why I wrote it down. And I was also quickly in a hurry. I watched her like both wrong and everyone's like, no, my God, how did you That would be art? funny. <laughs> yeah, which I might. I don't know all these. Yeah. I don't know all the oceans. Oh, so. But I can guess. Well, can guess hold on, we'll you can't get ahead of time. Time. Jesus. Okay, okay. all right. <laughs> Ask me the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who discovered the law of gravity? Um, I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm, is Newton? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, what's the story of it? An apple fell on his head. Yeah. That's what they say, but I mean, it's got to be like a lot more than that, right? I I don't know. I mean, an apple doesn't fall on your head and you're like, oh, e, you know, just put down all the numbers, e right? Equals F, it's F equals MA is, oh. is the actual equation. <laughs> Force equals mass times acceleration. We're off to a rough start since I got these both right, but I promise I'll find really harder, much harder questions. Why do you have to promise that? Why do you want to look dumb? It's funny. And then I don't look dumb. I look that episode was really funny when you looked at me like that, and then I was just like, "I want you to teach me." That's Te- fine. Teach me things. Yeah, he also died without a wife. They were like nerd, and they no one got with him. Rude. I didn't say it. He was the one without a wife. I'm not Isn't wife he material. An inventor? They weren't. Were they rich? I mean, he went to nice schools, mm-hmm. right? Because he was smart. Well, maybe he wasn't into women. Well, he also got into like a lot of crap with business owners, right? Why? So there's this guy named (laughs) Robert Hook, and he did Hook's Law, which is like an electrical principle. Okay. And so, you know, him and the other smart people just had beef. Hmm. So he had beef with a lot of people, just like Nikolai Tesla had beef with um, Edison because Edison owned all the copper wire. Who's the Nikolai person? Tesla. He made Tesla? No. <laughs> Tesla was named after him. He's the one oh. who made like non wire charging and stuff like that. Oh. And oh. Tesla coil. Have you ever seen those big balls with the electricity that goes? Zoo, zoo, zoo. Yeah. That's he made those. The things that you touch and it's like. Well, yeah, the thing that does that. That's mm-hmm. called a Tesla coil. So it's a way to generate electricity. And that has to be in a vacuum so that you can see the electricity and it's not dangerous. Oh. Um, but if you have it on a bigger scale, it can you know, go through space. And so it's a way to electrically charge things without wires. In Edison, he owned all of the wire. He owned the copper, right? And so when they were setting up the phone lines and all that, and he's like, no, 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 we can do this through space with nothing and we can do it without any wires. He was like, all right, <laughs> put in the newspapers that he's a quack. He's crazy. He's lost his mind he's and then fire him. And they did. And so they labeled him as just like a nutcase. And so he died poor and alone. And Jeez. then, I mean, a hundred, 200 years later, here we are using his same principles, making the electric cars. Right. So he's the one who invented the, uh, you know, the three phase electric motor, wow. which is what they use in, in Tesla cars today. So he's like this super genius, but the news put him out to be a bad guy because they wanted to make a bunch of money. That's crazy. However, his early stages like would not have charged things wirelessly. That amount of current out there would have like decimated all the birds. Like, oh, you know no. how they. <laughs> well, it was meant to be done. Yeah, they just didn't know enough about things. So the world would have been pretty 
roasty toasty. But they probably would have figured something out if they backed him. You know what I mean? Oh, like if they had yeah, supported maybe. him, you know, they would have figured I mean, that I out. Don't... They'd be like, oof, fried a couple birds. We should uh, stop doing this. I don't know when. Uh, when was gravity discovered? What year? I don't know the exact year. Mm. It was 1700s. 1700s? Like they knew it existed. You know what I mean? And then the It's elect- just the, what, what are the numbers behind it was the thing that Newton was known for. Because F equals MA, they knew gravity was there. For thousands of years, people have been building things with the principle that it goes in towards Earth, right? Mm. So they didn't need somebody to say, hey, stuff falls. And they're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that wasn't the thing. He just realized if you drop rock of any size, it all falls at the same speed. An apple, a rock, a big rock, a small rock, all mm. falls at the same speed. So it takes the same amount of time to hit the ground. Maybe he was like tripping. I would. I wouldn't think so. You don't think so to Mm-mm. pop some portobellos? No. Nah, I wouldn't think An so. An apple though. No, I mean, anyone could pick up two things and drop them, and they'll land on the floor at the, uh, at the same time. He was just the first person to put a number behind how fast that was mm-hmm. for anything, and it can be confusing for some people because if you drop a feather, for instance, it'll float down. So. Does that mean a feather doesn't get affected by gravity? It does, but it just, it has wind resistance. So mm-hmm. it's falling at the same rate, but then it's being pushed back up because wind resistance. Yeah. Feathers don't fall fast on purpose. That's why birds are covered in them. So they don't fall so fast. <laughs> okay. And then who were the wire? Who was the wire guy? And then the- Edison. Edison and Nikolai. What, were they the same time period? Yeah, he's like oh, okay. his boss. No, like same time period as Newton. Seventeen mm, hundreds. No, like eighteen. Like Later. they're American. Like Thomas Edison, great inventor. Newton's not American. No, he's like English or whatever. Someone okay. out there is gonna know more about him than, gotcha. than I do. I'm just trying to extend the questions sure. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about inventors and. Yeah. Stuff that who invented but the, what. But the phone, right? That's where you get Edison coming in. Yeah, he's the a, phone. He's a big. Wow, that was 1800s? Yeah, we didn't have phones for a long time. No, it just seems you like know, a long there time was a ago period, to me. <laughs> there was a period of time where samurai were still in existence at the same time as Abraham Lincoln at the same time as the phone. So you could have been a samurai and called abraham lincoln oh i've heard that i think you told me that before but you couldn't have because they didn't have phones in japan but the technology existed which i just thought was funny yeah that's crazy samurais same time period as abraham lincoln (laughs) yeah (laughs) hey how you doing (laughs) was that the conversation they would have yeah Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get jazzy and so I imagine that and um, we can you can ask me another question. Okay, I don't know the answer to the next question, so you're gonna have to like look it up. Oh, okay. I think I know it, but I could be wrong. You want to do the one after? Mm, we'll just do it. What's the largest ocean in the world? My guess is the Pacific. That's also my guess, but I could be wrong. I think it is though. There's a big gap between that and everything else. You know, the Atlantic is between two. Well, they're all between two continents. It's a, the Earth is not flat, so biggest ocean, Pacific. Yeah. Nice. Then it's the Atlantic. How, how big? How big? I was about to do that. I was about to. Well, it's gonna sixty-three million square miles. Sixty-three million. What's the What's the next one? Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Which is not gonna give it to me right here. In the, wow. In, in the, in the, See, this is why we need ChatGPT. We should just be using that as our like. Yeah, as our search engine, it's so much better. True. I can also this this hit was like. Yeah, it can also look up the internet too. (coughs) What? ChatGPT can now look on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because of Bing, Microsoft was like, "We're going to invest into it, so you can actually use Bing with ChatGPT now. It's like integrated." Yeah. It's really cool. I knew that. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> okay, and then the next question. 
<laughs> if we're on from from oceans. Well, the the other reason I would have said Pacific is because the largest distance between land and land, like human civilization, is between I think uh what's it? San Diego and Hawaii or something like that, or Seattle and Hawaii, something. But the West Coast and Hawaii. And so if you're halfway in between there, you're the furthest from anybody. And that's something I want to do once in my life is sail the longest distance away from anyone so you can actually see the sky as people used to see it without all the oh. lights. Because anywhere there's humans, there's lights, mm -hmm. and that makes the sky harder to see. So if you're in the middle of the ocean, absolute furthest distance from anybody, it's spooky. That would be spooky. But how crazy would that be to just like look out and say, whoa. I would do know. it with you, babe. Yeah, it's like a 30-day journey on the ocean. Wow. Uh, maybe less. Probably less. But like 21. We'll have to start doing some small days. journeys. 21. 21. I don't know how many oceans there are. Do you? Mm, nope. <laughs> how many oceans are there? Let's look it up. Gosh, I hate everyone. What, what's up. considered an ocean? Well, it, it has to be as, su as a certain size, right? I don't know. Yeah. It has Because lakes and rivers. Well, a lake, a lake is surrounded by land. A river goes to the ocean. A stream goes between lakes. Okay, are you ready? So what makes an ocean is it goes between continents. And that's what makes it. That's an ocean. not what I looked up. I looked up the first question, which was how many oceans are there? Oh, okay. Goodness, Get ahead of yourself. No, I'm just kidding. There is only one global ocean. Historically, there are four named oceans: the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Arctic. Arctic Ocean. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have gotten the Arctic one. The Indian, I would have gotten. Me too. But so let's see where it's at on the map. So obviously We're the looking. Indian one is between India and Africa. Atlantic is between Africa and then North America. And then the other one is between other one. Um, uh, North America and Asia, like Russia. Arctic? And the Pacific is between us and Asia. Mm. So like us and Russia, like Alaska side that way. Pacific. Where's the Arctic? Ocean? Oh, and then the Arctic Ocean, I don't even know where the hell that is. It must be in the North Pole, right? Antarctica? Yeah, but like, where the hell, like what's it between? It's just Antarctica, up, it's just the maybe? up one, it's the one on top, <laughs> and then Antarctica is the whole bottom of the planet, it's just all ice. Somebody says there's a Southern Ocean, but like, you know, what do these people know? Yeah, uh, yeah. again, I don't know what determines an ocean. Yeah, someone says Southern Ocean. I think it's just like whatever. So they just put it between continents. So if it's between Africa and, and Europe and Asia, Indian Ocean, if it's between North America and South America, the Americas, and Asia, it's the Pacific Ocean. And then if it's between <laughs> the Americas and Africa, Atlantic, and then the top and bottom have their own. Okay. Arctic up top and then... Southern Ocean below. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We know our oceans now. Now we know our oceans. We'll forget them. But now we know them. I won't forget. You won't forget? Nope. Mm. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, do you remember you the question? Yeah. Okay, I know I don't know this. You don't know this? I don't think so. What are the three states of matter? Oh, wait, when you said it out loud, I think I know this now. Mm -hmm. Is it the liquid, solid gas? Mm -hmm. dang, dang it. What is matter? What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, like a, fo a form, right? Like a type, of, it's like a form something can make. It's just anything that exists is matter. Anything that's like a physical thing is matter. An atom is made of matter. It's anything. That Everything it, that exists is matter. <laughs> but ideas are not matter, right? Because it doesn't. It's not a physical thing. It doesn't exist. Dreams are not matter. No, they don't matter. Electricity doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Electricity happens between matter, but it isn't matter. People's opinions mm -hmm. don't matter. 
Okay, uh, now what about this? What is fire? Mm, fire must be. Is it a solid? No, it's also the furthest of, from what it could be. In fact, gas. Nope. And that's the tricky part. The liquid? Mm -mm. Babe. It's plasma. That wasn't even one of the it's things. charged matter. Yeah, it's like a charged gas. It's plasma. Oh, that was Yeah, what a baloney. cheeky one. They say the three states of matter, but there's another one, right? And that's like the charged version. Like lightning isn't a gas, and it's not, but it's plasma. Because it charges those atoms so much that they're mm -hmm. not, they act different. Because gases act different than liquids, which act different than solids. Is that the same thing, like plasma from your blood? No. Mm. No, plasma from your blood's like a different thing. Okay. The state of matter. So fire is just light given from electrons, but how it behaves is kind of, you know, it's fluid, which gases and liquids are both fluids. Okay, okay. And so, solids aren't fluids. So, so what's smoke? Smoke's a gas. Gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't I can't think of anything else. Yeah, it's so when you use smoke it's you're burning something that's carbon and you're heating it up and so it turns the carbon from being the gas. Yeah. The yeah. Got that gas. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so loud. Sorry. It's okay, I'll edit it and post. I try to bonk. Yeah, bonk. No, it's uh <laughs> it's pretty Easy to understand. Now, what about this? What about things that float? Do you know about floating things? Floating things. Why does wood float? Wood floats? Uh, what? Oh, like in water. No, not like in the air. <laughs> I was picturing, I was still on my mind, was still on the feather floating. So I was, I was like, wood doesn't like, okay. <laughs> it's like, is it a witch's broom? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Well, does it depend how heavy? No. No? No, trees are very heavy. They float. Oh, wow. Have you ever seen a lumber thing? How they make lumber? Oh, I thought lumber was trees. It is. Do you know how they make it lumber? Like a lumber plant, like a lumber mill, how they send it to the place they cut stuff? Mm-mm. They chop down the tree and then throw it into the water. And then it floats on the water and then they move it to where it needs to go get cut. And then it goes onto a belt and then goes into the sauce. Oh, ducks. What else are you going to do with it? Fly with it? Well, yeah, you can't. So it's hard heavy. to move. You can't just grab like 20 people and they just go lift this thing around. So they would throw it into water. Yeah, but, but those they still trees have to... are really heavy. So heaviness is not what makes something float. They still have to like carry the tree to the water. They just drag it in there. But it has to only be trees by water. Or what, you're just tearing yep. up everything? Yeah, they just drag it to water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, you can you can make little rollies. And so if you cut in the forest mm -hmm. over here, mm -hmm. you just roll it down in the water. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of farming ops are near rivers. Excuse me. Okay. Because they can knock them into the river and then throw them into the mill. But trees are really heavy, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how heavy it is, it still floats. Okay. So it makes stuff float. What makes stuff float? Mm -hmm. why, does, why does wood float? And why doesn't stone float? Um, is I don't know. I was gonna say is like the tree's not a gas, is it? <laughs> it's like wood solid. <laughs> Give me that look again. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> no, tell me. <laughs> it's because wood's less dense than water. So density is how <laughs> how close the matter is; those atoms are to each other. So if you picture these as like atoms, like my the, my fingertips, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if they're close together, that means they're more dense. And if they're far apart, that means they're less dense. And gas is very far apart, and so they're not even like really combined. Okay. Liquid, they're together, so they're kind of combined, but they're far apart, so you can separate them easily. And then solids, they're very tight, and so they don't like to separate. So it's like just like it has separate. more of it. So if I had f if I had five, 
this would be a solid, this would be a liquid, this would be a gas. It's just how far the, they are from each other. No, I know, but is a, so a rock just has like more. A rock would have, they would be closer together. So it doesn't matter how big the boulder is. If I take a small section, they're like clumped together. The atoms are clumped more closely. In mm-hmm. wood, it's clumped less closely. In water, they're, they're clumped far away. But wood is a solid, but they're still further away. So even though it's a solid, it's still less dense. It's because there's like pores, there's holes in it, right? So mm-hmm. it's, they can be further apart. Mm-hmm. And so it's weird. That, that explanation of solids are like this and liquids are like that and gases like that's not really correct. It's just if it was the same thing, then that's normally what happens. Okay. But why does – so if I take – if I take a rock, <laughs> if I melt it into lava <laughs> – Okay. The lava would get less dense because as stuff gets hot, it moves further away from itself usually. And so it would liquefy, it would become less dense as a liquid. Mm -hmm. So if I put a rock into lava, it would sink. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then I put ice, which is water, and then I put that on top of a regular glass of water, it floats. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you know why that one floats and everything else would sink? Oh, uh, I know. Because <laughs> water is weird. Oh. As soon as you freeze water, it actually expands. When Normally when you freeze stuff, it, it bundles together. You got to think of atoms as like they get cold. So the colder they get, the tighter they come together. They like you bundle up. Hmm. And so whenever you're making something colder, it kind of tries to bundle and it gets tighter and it gets harder and it gets more dense. Except mm-hmm. water. Water does the opposite. It's like, ooh, I'm so cold. And it stretches out. <laughs> and then it it's solidifies. Like yeah, it's so funny. Like, I'm cold now. No. Get tight and small. And, and I get all big because like, I'm all hot. Cold. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Is that the sound I make, too? Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. like it. I was going to mention earlier when we were talking about oceans that I was surprised you didn't know more about oceans. Yeah, I don't know a lot about them. They're water. They're big. They're out there. There's a lot of salt. <laughs> there's currents they go in certain directions mm. mm-hmm. there's certain critters there's critters in them I like critters they're there I like ocean critters more than I like you know know about I the ocean I love right? aquariums more than like zoos I thought that's where you were going mm. but mm-hmm. yeah I, I do too mm. I think they're really cool we went to the aquarium in Japan because that's one of the only places in the world that you can see a, a whale shark. Oh. That was the only place also to have a great white. Mm-hmm. But they can't be kept in captivity, so it died like almost immediately. Oh. Yeah, as soon as you take a great white shark out of the ocean, it's just like, I'm done. Aw, yeah. And it just stops eating. Well, I mean, we're not really supposed to keep any. Well... Isn't it like some of them, it's good for us to keep them, like we save them? Or none of them. We should just be probably letting them chill. You, you shouldn't be taking critters from its environment. There's certain animals like pandas that just shouldn't exist. Why? They try really hard not to. Oh, no. Like, did you really? know? Oh, yeah, they're lazy. Did you know panda bears actually have biology that's supposed to eat meat? Oh. And they don't. Yeah. <laughs> and bamboo is so unhealthy for panda bears that they literally have to eat all day to get the nutrition they need to survive. <laughs> and so they could just eat a bird, but they're just so lazy That's so that they funny. don't do that. And huh. they don't breed. There's no season. They're just so lazy and probably malnourished. They're like, I just don't have the energy. Not tonight, Martha bear. And, and they just don't do it. How are they alive still? Because we keep them. We're like, this abomination mm-hmm. must survive for some reason. And we make <laughs> oh, them do cute. it. Yeah. That's why. That's what they did. And then pandas were like, are you kidding me? Can you just let us go? We're not meant to be here. We don't want to be here. And we're like, no, no, Aww. no, you get to stay. That's sad. I mean, I would rather them stay than be gone. Yeah. Well, look, we're trying. <laughs> we sh- you shouldn't have to try normally you just let stuff go and you don't bother them and hunt them and they do fine but not them mm. Mm. my okay. brain's a- this is like just so much You're like, oh my god yeah I've er- I forgot things. that I am making banana bread right now 
Yeah, currently. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I am gonna eat some anyway. <laughs> What's your timer for? My banana bread. How long has it been in? I don't know, because I forgot to start a timer. Oh, you have one right there. Uh, yeah, I started that right before the podcast, because oh. I was like, I went downstairs, and then I was like, oh, I have banana bread in the oven. Oh I recorded gosh. it and everything, recorded me mixing it and all that, putting oh it in the gosh. oven. Totally forgot to start a timer. Yeah. It just smelled Oops. like dabs, so I couldn't tell that there was banana bread. Really? It smelled like dabs? Mm -hmm. Downstairs? I don't know why. Oh. But I also I can't smell either. very well, everybody. I don't have a very good sense of smell. But, yeah, I'm making banana bread. I'm really excited about it. I, so I, I probably should go check on that. Did you put yogurt in it? No. That's like the secret ingredient. But we don't have, like... We have yogurt. Mm, I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, next time try adding yogurt with it. It'll I'll make try it super time. moist. Mm -hmm. That's You've what said it does. that before. I know, and it does. Pro tip, it makes it moist. You want it moist? Is there banana yogurt? Use yogurt. No, but I think I have some banana flavor extract downstairs. Funny. You can add that with yogurt and then dough, and then, which I'm pretty sure is like what they do. Oh, uh, did you make no, banana bread I would with just bananas? Add it. No, we don't have bananas. Yeah, I didn't know if you went to the store. You got bananas. You just did. The I mix. actually did went to this go to the store, but you I got go to the store? I got Valentine's stuff. Oh, oh yeah. But I still went to the grocery store for it. Which reminds me, I want to show you what I got. Okay, we got to yes. go. All right. I love y'all. Goodbye. That was what a, a weird goodbye. episode. Yeah, <laughs> it was just a couple of facts, things we didn't know. We both learned. Look at us go. Look at us go. We're Learn. all learning. Which was the positive message? Learn with your partner. Grow with your partner. Have fun. If you get a dirty look because you don't know things, like oh, that yeah. it's not a liquid. Yeah, things don't matter. Yeah, it's okay. Laugh about it. Yeah. Yeah, me as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. See y'all next time. I'm super jazzy, so I'm dead. Later. Yeah, I'm tired. I had a day at work. So we out. We out. Deuces. Gaffa. Mic drop. Have fun. Laugh together, everybody. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha.